Hello, my viewers. Welcome to a new video. Sanjur reached out to me to make a video about their new plug and play home battery system. In this box, we have the Sanjur Solar Flow Hyper 2000 and the AB2000X. This is delivered as a complete set, including two 540 watt solar panels. Now, I have no experience with this type of systems, but it works plug and play. So, if I can install it, then you can certainly do it too. A very easy home battery system that you can install all by yourself. So I'm gonna start now with unboxing the Hyper 2000. After that, I'm going to unbox the AB2000. And we also have the uh, brackets for the solar system, for the solar panels. So let's open up and see how well it's packed and what's inside. Hyper 2000 Hybrid Inverter. Here's this box. And there is a user manual in a language that you will understand. It's in Polish, Spanish, Italian, France, Germany, English. What this is, this is basically, this is your controller. This is your management system. So this is the bottom of the Hyper 2000 with the AC connector. And there is this AC socket. You can connect it here and plug it into your wall socket. Don't use extension cables. We got eight of these solar plugs, the MC4s, in and out, which we're gonna talk about later when we connect them. And we have this slot to stack it onto your AB2000S. Now in the box there's also this hexagon tool. So we're gonna remove this protection cap So we can stack it onto the battery. So let me take the battery now. As you can see here, it's the newest model of Sanger. Also, aluminum housing, very nice hand grips. As you can see on the bottom, there's also this connection with the protection cap. And here on the top side, there's also this protection cap you need to be removed. And you can see here, please align left before stacking. So if you stack the controller onto the, to the AB2000S, it needs to go like that. Very simple. So here we go. Align it on this side. Simply drop it on. And now it's connected. And then on the side of the controller, you remove these rubber pins, these rubber knobs. So we can secure the controller from falling off. And the other side. So both units are stacked together now with the screws on the side and we're ready to move it inside. Here we have the PV input, that's the input for the solar panels and on the other side we have the AC input, that's your AC connector for the wall socket, which we have here. So I'm gonna connect solar panel one here. Make sure you make a good connection by clicking them on very well. And here I have solar panel two. 
clicking them on very well. And it's connected. And then there is one more thing to do. You need a Shelly Pro 3 EM. Now what it does, it measures your power consumption in your house. It sends the data to the sender. Then the sender knows what to deliver back to your house. The Shelly Pro 3 EM can be installed in your fuse box. And it's recommended to have this done by an electrician. I have already one installed, so I can connect the sender now to the wall socket. And then the battery, the AB2000S. The AB2000S is your home battery, which has a capacity of 1920 watt hours. The AB2000S has an integrated fire extinguish system that provides extra fire safety. Now you can use this outside, you can put it in your shed, in your garden, in your garage, on your balcony, whatever you want, as long as you do not put it in the sunlight. It has an integrated heating system, which makes it possible to discharge and charge up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now let's say this system is too small for you and you want to have extra capacity, extra battery capacity. You can stack up to four AB2000S batteries on top of each other on one controller and that gives you 7600 watt hours. If you have a one phase electricity in your house you can use one set. If you have a three phase electricity in your house you can use on each phase one set. So you can use up to three sets in your house. So the system is in standby mode now. And the first thing you have to do now is uh, install the Sendur application, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and then you can add the Sendur Hyper 2000, and you can add the Shelly Pro 3 EM. It's all guided in the application, step by step, so it's very easy to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm showing you the application of Sendur. And what you can see now with the green light, it's immediately charging through the solar panels. It's a very cloudy day, it's raining, so it will not charge very much. The best circumstances are direct sunlight, of course. Now let's say you already have solar panels on your house and you want to store that energy. You can do that through the AC power into the AB2000X. And if you want to charge from the grid power, you can use the time of use functionality. This makes it very easy. When the price is low, you can charge, and when the price is high, you can use the energy that you already stored in your battery. So in times when there is not much sunlight, like in the winter, you can charge also via the grid power. You can simply turn this on in the application, and this will prevent the battery will drain too much. Now that makes it very interesting because you can charge when your energy price from the grid power is low and store it into your battery and you can use that from your battery when the grid price is high. So what we have here is the application of the Hyper 2000 and it's connected through Wi-Fi. In the left top corner you see the solar panels and it's delivering an output of 78 watts directly into the right top corner into the battery. In the left corner you see the consuming energy. I'm not consuming any energy at this moment because it's switched off. And in the right corner you can see the charging uh, of the uh, grid power. And I've also turned that off. And then on the bottom you see statistics and the energy plan. I'm going to the energy plan now. I've set that up already. I'm going to smart settings and then you see smart CT and when I click on monitor circuit you can see what my power consumption is at this moment. So I will go back, ask me to save the changes and I will run the smart feature. And then we go back to the main panel. 
and we are back in the main screen. In the top side you see now currently in smart mode. And then you see the solar panels have an output of 73, 75 watts. And that's not enough for the consuming power of my house because I'm using 126 watts now. So it uses 54 watts from the battery. Now it's not a sunny day, it's cloudy, it's rainy outside. So the ideal circumstances are sunlight of course and that there is no sunlight at this moment. So another scenario I recorded earlier, you can see in the left corner, in the left top corner, you see the solar panels are delivering 590 watts. I'm using in the left corner below 550 watts. So I have overpower from the solar panels and the overpower is putting it into the battery with 77 watts now. Now I turn smart mode off and in the right top corner you see the wheel from settings. I go to settings and then I go to on grid settings. And then the input mode from the grid power that's for charging from the net. I will put that up to a thousand watts. You can set it to 1200 watts but I will do a thousand now. Set it up 1000 watts, ok, save. We're going two steps back to the main screen. So I turned on the charging from the grid. You can see it in the right corner. It's charging 1000 watts from the grid. And I still have some solar, 49 watts. Makes it 1050 watts that it's charging now. You also have some statistics. You can see what you have been charging. Let's go to a week and then you have the statistics of the whole week what you have been charging. So this was just a test setup. My solar panels hanging on the fence. I still want to move them to the roof of my shed. But of course you can hang them on your balcony, on your wall or just put them somewhere in your garden. For now I hope you like this video. I hope I will give you a good look at this product. So you can decide for yourself if this is something for you. And of course, I will put a link in the description to the Send Your website where you can order this setup. It's the balcony set, the Hyper 2000 with the AB2000S complete set. Don't forget to buy extra MC4 solar cables because the cables that are delivered with the set are very short. And then you can decide for yourself the length that you want. For now, I hope you like this video. Please give it a like, subscribe to my channel for future videos, and I hope to see you next time.